A salute battery from the 58th Troop Command, Maryland National Guard, provided an attention-getting backdrop for Friday's 1st Army Division East change of command. Lieutenant General Michael Tucker, the commanding general of the 1st United States Army, presided over the change of command from Major General Jeffrey Bailey to Major General Brian McKiernan. We'll have more on the change of command in just a moment. Also on this edition, a look back at National Night Out, a fire in post housing. We still need traffic survey responses. These stories and more on Midweek. Hello, I'm Brian Spann. First Army Division East, currently located in the iconic headquarters building at one end of McLaughlin Parade Field, hosted a change of command ceremony on Friday. Commanding General of the First U.S. Army, Lieutenant General Michael Tucker, presided. Folks, today's ceremony marks the formal transition of command, reaffirming the Army's steadfast commitment to provide superior leadership and mission command oversight to our Army formations. Major General Bailey's masterful leadership has skillfully led Division East for two years, and now on his achievements during the time frame were all significant. First Army's transformation will continue over the next couple of years as First Division East is scheduled to move from Fort Meade to Fort Knox by April 2016, a process overseen by General Bailey up to this point, with the responsibility now falling on General McKiernan. I have many, really too many, to personally recognize, so I just want to simply end this morning by saying thank you to everyone who's been a part of my team and who made the dream come true and made possible what this division has accomplished. I'm excited about joining for the 1st Army team during a period of dynamic and important change and being part of one of our Army's premier training organizations. Meanwhile, last week, police and fire departments from across the country, including Fort Meade, participated in National Night Out. National Night Out strives to raise awareness of community police and emergency services programs in local neighborhoods. Fort Meade's Directorate of Emergency Services does it as well as anyone. Fort Meade's National Night Out has been named best in the Department of Defense for similar-sized installations several years running. This year's event seemed bigger and better than ever, drawing all the usual suspects. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley signing the National Night Out Community Proclamation. There was McGruff the Crime Dog taking photos and signing autographs. There was a lot more for the kids to do, including martial arts demonstrations, rides and attractions, the first round of the NFL's punt, pass, and kick competition. And of course, everyone was interested in the food. As I said, all the usual suspects were there, plenty of different types of police and fire vehicles, not only from Fort Meade, but from many surrounding communities. One Anne Arundel County officer said they're always out here to show support, but they have another motive as well. The benefit is, uh, especially on a night like National Night Out, is being one with the community. Uh, Anne Arundel County Police surrounds Fort Meade, uh, so we're, we're neighbors essentially. Uh, we like to come and support the uh, base community uh, as recruiters. We are always looking for uh, transitioning military personnel who uh, are interested in coming into law enforcement. So uh, we're here for that reason and also to say hello and say, uh, you know, welcome to the neighborhood for those that are just coming in town. National Night Out is held the first Tuesday every August and is one of Fort Meade's largest community events of the year. In a related story, the Fort Meade Fire Department responded to a dwelling fire on Inchon Street in the Patriot Ridge Housing Area on the morning of July 31st. As we're producing the show, the investigation into the cause of the fire is still going on. We spoke with Joseph Van Meter just after the fire was put out. He said the fire was contained quickly and there were no human injuries sustained. The fire was contained in under 15 minutes. I believe it was exactly 13. Um, the bulk of the fire was knocked down. We continued to check for extension. Um, there was no extension to any of the, or minor extension to the adjacent units. Um, Anne Arundel County came out. We called them about probably two minutes within, uh, once we were made aware of the fact that it was actually a confirmed fire, um, I asked for additional units. Uh, we brought out four units from Anne Arundel County. They assisted with the initial fire attack as well as um, our three crews that were on base as well. Um, it was a success. Uh, fire contained, no further spread and no injuries. Um, occupants exited as they should and uh, searches were performed, no injuries, life is good. And finally on this edition, a not too early reminder to mark your calendars for August 27th, the Fort Meade Equal Employment and Opportunity Office invites you to the McGill Training Center for this year's Women's Equality Day Observance. Once again, it's Thursday, August 27th from 11.30 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. And that's all for this edition. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office. Have a great Meade week. Join the United States Army Field Band for the Fort Meade Summer Concert Series Saturdays this August at Constitution Park. Concerts are free and open to the public. For information, visit armyfieldband.com slash summer. That's armyfieldband.com slash summer.